joined by the delectable, the wonderful, the exquisite and the sublimely brained Dr. Rana. <laughs> what do I say to that introduction? I don't know. I'm Thank in a funny you. mood tonight. Nowadays, scientists can take a simple sample from the inside of your cheek with a swab to actually isolate your genetic code. They then use this information to work out if you're susceptible. Why was everyone suddenly sexting? People do it for different reasons. Right. Sometimes people do it because they feel pressured. Other people want to be part of the group. And um, sometimes their partners, boyfriends, girlfriends are harassing them or making them feel like they should be doing it. I like what she's saying. As a doctor, I'm here to present you with some crucial facts about meningitis and septicemia. In response to a sharp increase of cases in the lesser known but incredibly dangerous strain of meningococcal bacteria known as MenW, a vaccine has been introduced to offer protection to young people and teenagers against meningitis and septicemia. Rada, let me start with you, if I may, because you took part in a, a phone in programme about trolling the other day. What sort of calls were you getting? What we found was that people were really affected, really, really by these horrible comments. And as you said, you filter out all the good things and all you remember is the bad thing. And when you're growing up, when you're a teenager, a young person, you're already vulnerable. Next, it's Algebor with her healthy choices. So you've hit some pineapple, which is great because you need one portion of fruit a day. So that's yeah. really good. Vegetables are another good alternative to fruit. Milkshakes have a lot of added sugar and flavorings in them. So yeah. water is probably better than a milkshake. The menopause marks the end of menstruation for women. In the UK, the average age for a woman to reach menopause is 52, although some can experience the menopause in their 30s or 40s. Ricky, we're in your stomach. How did we get here? Watch out. Oh. So food is made up of lots of things, including fat, protein and carbohydrates. When food is broken down in the stomach, it releases different amounts of sugar. And to help me out, I've got Sex Ed's very own Doctor on Call, Rada Modgill. Pregnancy is divided up into three sections, so the first, second and third trimester, and that really is about three months for each one, and that's really just to help us sort of demarcate and separate the pregnancy period into sections. What do you think about this experiment? Is, is it worthwhile? You know, some people might see it as you know, slightly bizarre. I mean, it might seem bizarre, but actually, you know, we're looking at how your body's responding to cold, and these are the kind of temperatures which some people have to experience. What we've seen with you is that your blood pressure has actually gone up. It ain't easy, is it? No, it's not. It's not easy. <laughs> not easy for anybody, but there are people who can help you, and for sure, I see people all the time who are worried, and most of the time, I can put them at their ease. Good. So, yeah. Imagine Rada being your doctor. <laughs> well, gel. She's just so, so, so good. Thank you so, so, so much. Next week's show is about...